Psalm 54 verse 1 to 7 through the Bible. Psalm 54. Theme. A cry of faith in the time of Antichrist. This marvelous little psalm is wedged in here, in the midst of all the troubles of the great tribulation, so that we can hear the cry of faith on the part of the remnant of God's people and of a great company of Gentiles, too. Now note the historical background. To the chief musician on Nejanoth, Maskil, a psalm of David, when the Ziphims came and said to Saul, Doth not David hide himself with us? From this introduction we discover several things. The Nejanoth was a stringed musical instrument. Maskil means that this is another psalm of instruction, a psalm of David. The Ziphims absolutely betrayed David. The Ziphims are also called Ziphites, and the record of their betrayal is found in 1 Samuel 23. When David learned that these people had told Saul where he was, he cried, Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God. Give ear to the words of my mouth. Psalm 54 verses 1 and 2. David was betrayed, and we are told that in the great tribulation period, brother will betray brother. It will be a time again of awful betrayal. It was a godless crowd that betrayed David. During the tribulation period, the godless Antichrist will be in power, and the Jewish remnant will suffer greatly under this man of sin. For strangers are risen up against me, and oppressors seek after my soul. They have not set God before them. Selah, Psalm 54 verse 3. David was in deep distress, as will be the remnant during the tribulation of the future. This brief psalm concludes with an expression of confidence in the help of God. Behold, God is mine helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. He shall reward evil unto mine enemies. Cut them off in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice unto thee. I will praise thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For he hath delivered me out of all trouble, and mine eye hath seen his desire upon mine enemies. Psalm 54 verse 4 to 7. We know from the historical record that God did deliver David from the treacherous Ziphites, and the faithful remnant can rest in the confidence that God will deliver them also. God will surely keep his promises.